Hey guys, welcome back to Free Car Repair. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today will be a super helpful video to any of you guys having a Ford Fusion this generation here from year 2013 to year 2020. If you need to find where the fuse for the VCT variable camshaft timing is located, which fuse you need to check where you can buy cheap parts to use. Fuses realize it's a good price, quick shipping, that way do not waste money and time. Why it's always a good idea to test fuses and realize all that guys will be covered absolutely free for your convenience. Make sure you stay until the end. So let us tell you a little bit about us guys. When we get a car here at the garage, we try to make at least 200 free repair videos absolutely to you guys. We make a video about every single fuse, every single relay. Let's say you're in the middle of nowhere, your car doesn't start, you can easily identify what causes that. You can search for engine starter fuse, uh, fuel pump fuse. Let's say that's a problem, you replace it, you're back in the road. It takes less than two minutes to watch the video, guys. So uh, that will be, guys, our mission to make your life easier and to solve your problem. Now, uh, in addition, guys, we have other channels as well. We make two 300 free repair videos on every car we get at the garage, take them completely apart. We do engine uh, work, transmission, body work, engine codes, fuses, anything like that. Now, why we do that? To save you money, guys. So, uh, on this Ford Fusion, there are different years, okay, through, uh, through the uh, different models through the years, from 2013 all the way to 2020. There will be some minor differences about the fuses, so if you uh, notice that we mentioned up to two, three different fuses for the same thing, it could be because uh, it could be a different fuse for a different year, but we're trying to help all of you with that generation for Fusion, so let's start on it now. So guys, the VCT, uh, that's the variable camshaft timing fuse where you can expect to find it. We will demonstrate on that generation Ford Fusion. You guys have multiple fuse boxes. Some of them are extremely hidden. We will recommend to check the video on our channel about fuse box location on Ford Fusion. Go ahead, open the hood here, guys. Okay, on the driver's side, you see that cover that looks like a T. Go ahead and open it. Underneath, you'll find the main engine fuse box with a layout like this one. Before we continue, let's explain quickly why it's always a good idea to test fuses and relays. So let me explain why it's super important guys to test fuses. Fuses, not often you can see if they're burnt or they're good. Sometimes they may seem perfectly fine, you think it's a good fuse, you put it back in and you end up uh, spending money and time on parts and problems that uh, do not exist guys, when all you have to do, test your fuse, find out it's bad, replace it, fix your problem. So we will have a video how to test a fuse, okay, different kinds of fuses and how to test relays guys. We're going to put the link in the description of the video below specifically to that video please check it out so another thing guys before i forget if you guys need to buy any fuses realize parts to use for ford fusion or any car at a good price quick shipping we'll put a link in the description of the video below for your convenience that way you do not waste your money and time so for the VCT variable camshaft timing, we need to check just one fuse. If you have a cold engine light related to it, always check that fuse first. Let's zoom in a little bit. And guys, you see under that relay here, we have two fuses. One is barely noticeable, that's fuse seven and eight. That fuse number eight, that 20 amp fuse that you see right here clearly, that's the one, guys, that you need to check for the VCT variable camshaft timing. Hopefully the video will be helpful. Thank you for watching. See you next time.